As a hydroponic grower, or perhaps somebody brand new to hydroponics, have you ever wondered how the temperature and quality of water affects a hydroponic system or the plants it produces? Well, I'm Charlie from Proponics, and today I'm going to tell you exactly about the correlation between the quality of water and the temperature of the water and how this will affect your hydroponic system. Let's start with water quality. Whether it's from your tap, collected rainwater, or drawn from a well, it's all water. But the mineral and chlorine content can vary significantly. A simple principle to remember is if the water tastes good to you, it's likely good for your plants. Unpleasant tasting water is a sign to check its quality. Many city water plants provide a water quality report online, detailing chlorine, lead, copper and other mineral contents, so check yours in order to know how best to utilize your tap water. If you're looking to reduce chlorine, simply leave the water out overnight and the chlorine will evaporate, or aerate it using an air stone. Boiling water and letting it cool also works. While there are commercial solutions and home remedies like adding citric acid, the best approach is to not add anything to remove something. For excessive minerals beyond chlorine, a water filter is your best friend. Avoid water softeners because they add salt. A simple, effective option can be something as straightforward as a commercial filter. Before adjusting your water, always check and record its pH. This gives you a baseline for comparison. Moving on to water temperature, contrary to some beliefs, Warm water doesn't inherently rot roots or foster algae. Algae's growth isn't temperature dependent, but requires light and nutrients. So temperature control is more about oxygen levels. Colder water can hold more dissolved oxygen, vital for plant roots. This is where a hydroponic water chiller comes into play, functioning similarly to a reverse heater by refrigerating water. No chiller, no problem. For non-commercial growers, ice cubes or a white reservoir can keep temperatures down. Alternatively, burying the reservoir or placing it in the shade helps too. Circulation can introduce more air but won't reduce temperature. For conditions that are too cold, a small fish tank heater works wonders, especially at night during colder seasons. Be mindful with plastic reservoirs as heaters can cause damage. A safer method involves placing the heater in a jar of water, then submerging the jar in the reservoir to evenly distribute warmth. Understanding and managing your hydroponic water is crucial for a healthy and productive hydroponic system. Armed with this knowledge, you're well on your way to optimizing your setup and maximizing plant happiness. If you like what you just saw, go ahead and click the link in the description to find a full detailed article on this video's topic. And if you learned something new today, hit that like button and let us know down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more hydroponics educational content and visit proponics.co.uk for in-depth articles on all things hydroponics. Grow smarter with proponics. And until next time, happy growing.